The issue I want to talk about a little bit today is the weight limits on ag machinery and equipment. And uh, it's been kind of a growing issue over time, but in Nebraska, ag machinery and equipment like your tractors, your combines and things are subject to the same weight limits as other vehicles in the state. So that means that uh, you can't got to be under 20,000 pounds per axle or 34,000 pounds for a tandem axle. And that applies on state highways or county roads. And so what's happened, this kind of came to a head earlier this year. Uh, we were aware of a situation in a county where a farmer got pulled over on a tractor pulling a manure spreader that was loaded and was ticketed and fined $1,100 for being overweight on both the tractor axle and on the manure spreader. And so that kind of brought the reality that with today's size of today's machinery and equipment, that oftentimes when we got to looking into it, some of the size when they're rolling out of the, the uh, manufacturing plant now, they're overweight on axle because of their size. And so Nebraska's got to look and see about trying to change uh, our, our weight limits and how they apply to ag machinery or equipment. When we looked at other states, they handle it a lot of different ways. Uh, some states just outright exempt ag machinery equipment from any weight limits. Some have partial exemptions, like if you're on a county road, you're okay, but if you go on a state highway, you, uh, you are, could be subject to fine tickets if you're overweight. Uh, some have, uh, they exempt under a certain amount, but once you reach a certain size, then you have to apply for a permit from the, the county government to be able to operate on the roads and bridges in that county. So there are a lot of different ways that, that we could look at trying to handle this in Nebraska, or we could make no changes at all. We could just leave things the same, just realize that, that with today's equipment, there people may be uh, subject to being pulled over for being overweight. So that's the crux of the issue, and we're looking for feedback and input from our members on, on how they want to to handle the weight limits related to ag machinery equipment.